Yeah, uh, it's Wednesday, uh, December first. Matter of fact, it, Pete on Southwick Rod and Custom says that it's his birthday today, but he won't say how old he is. So you need to go out and wish him a happy birthday. Okay, this is what I've been doing. Doesn't seem like much, but it takes a long time. Um, this is actually that silver shit. Is actually that duck insulation. It's nineteen dollars a roll. I had to buy two rolls. It's kind of like Dino Map, but I don't know. Anyway, I put it all in the door. Every place I could get it all up in there. So I want it to be a sound deadener. It takes a long time. And then behind the speakers, I put some little sound deadener there too. And then before I put the 6x9s in there, I'm sorry, 6.5 inch, these, <clears throat> that fits in, the, in there to reflect sound, hopefully, I don't know. This is in a door. And you can see that door is pretty much basically back together. You got six and a half there, and I got to put the tweeters up on the A pillar. This is where I hogged out the duck work mat. And I put that dyno mat in there. And I put the dyno mat all all behind here, up in this nook right here, I put it all in there and I'm going to probably put it all up in here and this is what's been taking so long I got the dash speakers in up in the dash and then I took the air, I took the um, airbag out I still got to make a trim panel right here them are Infinity Kappas uh six inch by four and a half or something it fit actually pretty good there okay then you're gonna have six and a half the emory affinity kappas too and these are sony scls or whatever gonna go up in the dash okay and then where the glove box used to be now i dyno matted it at all yeah it took forever what's gonna go there is this um the jl audios there's six and a half too. I did this yesterday. This is all basically is just a piece of plywood. And I had to, I had to do a lot of fabrication to get the bolt up in there. And then I padded it. You can tell see where it's padded. With some velvet. With uh I use um crushed velvet. Um blah blah blah. Them them have um tweeter components too. <clears throat> in the meanwhile, a buddy of mine, Rico, the one that did all this airbrush work, well, he's moving into a condo, so he gave me a bunch of stuff. He gave me the, see where this chair, I kind of fixed it, jerry rigged it. Anyway, that's Rico. He um, was going to throw this chair away. I thought, well, you know, I'll fix it because I, I like it. And Rico gave me this is a this is the bottom half of a Craftsman toolbox. I put all the stickers on, of course. And then I put 200 and I'm sorry, 720 pennies. I glued them all up there. Each one, yeah, because 18 in a row, and I, I can't remember how many rolls, but it come out to seven dollars and twenty cents. Is that a waste of money? Sure, I don't know. Beautiful, I always liked it. What had happened was I was coming home and throwing all my change up here, and there's a bunch of pennies there, and I just start. I always say pennies and dimes anyway, so I started gluing them down and put clear coat over it. You notice the first 20 rolls are all heads. Then, right there, it's all tails. What that represents, you guys won't get it. Either you're all in or you're all out. Don't be wishy-washy flipping on the fence. Either you believe it, or you don't. It's like call a spade a spade, don't call it a heart. It's like black is black and white is white. Okay? Don't be gray. Gray is flip-flop, you know. My hands, see them? Some working hands, see them? Look at that. That's what I do. 
Them are some working hands. Look at that. Y'all see them? Them are working hands. They're all dried out. Because I work on stuff. Yeah, that's pretty harsh. I try to wear gloves. But, um, you know, sometimes you can't do certain things with gloves. It's pretty harsh, ain't it? But, that's life in a big city. Anyway, <coughs> Rico, he gave me this cabinet too, because like I said, he's moving from his house to a condo. Check this out now. This is kick ass. Rico airbrushed that. Uh, Rico, 2010. I like her eyes. I wish she had fangs in it. But I like her eyes because they're blood. He can airbrush when he wants to. Just like some samurai warrior or something. That's what the sword thing is, I think. I don't know. See, he knows how to shadow. But anyway, give that to me for free. And here's the other part of the toolbox. The Craftsman. He gave me that, too. And I, I put all my little blocks in and stuff. Actually, I just bought this big one. Because Pete had one, and I didn't have a big old one. <clears throat> what the nicest thing is, I can actually put all my guns in one cabinet. That's what I like about it. See, I got primer, base coat, clear, metal flake. Metal flake's got the big yellow holes on it, so I can suck big flake through it. Unlike the rest of them, see that little clear holes? That's small. And the yellow one? That's going to suck a lot of fluid. And then I got a backup pot. So basically, that's what I've been doing. This took like, I don't know, almost a whole day. And then I'm soldering the wires. I'm not just taping them together. That's what I've been doing. Um, hopefully I'll get back together here pretty soon. Anyway, people. See all the garages just trashed? Stuff everywhere? Yep. Trying to get things done. And my brother's going to be here in a few minutes. Because his dog ate the foam on his snowmobile. So he had to go out and buy another one. I already can't. I don't even know what year it is. Um, if I knew how to edit, I'd put them on video. But... I don't know how to edit, so y'all, you guys already know that. Basically, um, damn, don't look like I did a whole lot. But that glove box and that airbag, that took a long time. And now, see all the headliners, red velvet. I got to redo that because right there in the in the in that visor, there are actually two visors. See, there's a visor and there's a visor. Why do they make it like that? I don't know. But in, in that visor, I'm going to mount... Where is it at? These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tweeters. See them up in there? I'm going to mount that in there. So now i got to do the headliner black and shit. And I didn't want to, but um, I already did the um, A-pillar post. Anybody that works on cars know what an A-pillar post is. But anyway, I just did these two. They took forever in a day. Let me think that one goes, yeah. This is driver's side. Yeah. That's going to go up in there. Just use some 3M. Yeah, there you go. Crushed velvet. Like I said, I really didn't want to redo this fucking headliner. But if I put the speakers up there, it's going to look ghetto with red in there and the truck's green with blue flames or whatever. Um, and then I bought some neon. 
I got neon all underneath the truck, yes. But that's not what I'm talking about. It's called string neon or whatever you want to call it. Here's my idea. Where's my... Right here on the door panel. If the door panel was like that, see that little crevice right there? See right there, there's a crevice right here. Right there all the way down. Then it comes up. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to use, I don't know, it's called straight glow stuff. <clears throat> I buy all this stuff. You, I mean, I buy it all. You know, people, businesses go out or something. There's green. Here's some blue. I've already tested them all. You can tell I just, there's all my wire. I'm not even going to use that. I just went out and bought some more wire. Like I said, I, I buy bulk. This is what I'm going to run for the 6x9s. Um, this is actually 12 gauge because Pete told me to at least use 14 gauge and then there's what I'm using for oh here we go this crap oh this is uh 14 gauge if I could focus it that's what I'm gonna run the tweeters on it takes a long time to rewire because I ain't using none of their wiring because it's always thin it's thin and, and I'm going to put all these amps and subs and whatever else in here and I'm not going to cheapen it. Most people, they don't even put this thing back in here, this waterproof plastic blah 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 thing in. I hot glued it all back on with that glue gun because once you take this shit off, they don't never want to go back up because the butyl comes off so I hot glued it. And I did it right because I'm trying to do the best job I can. You know, um, you can tell this has already been dyno matted. Yeah, fuck it, it is dyno matted. And then here's my speaker leads. The only reason I'm putting little tweeters right here, right behind the mirror, is because some cockerel, which they used to own a truck before when I bought it at Kalamazoo, he fucking drilled holes in the plastic, you know, and it's like, fuck, I don't want to drill holes through there, so I'm going to run tweeters there, which is fine because um, that's the Sony, that's the Sony crossover. That tweeter's going to go right there. That the Sony's are right there, it's going in the front dash, and then these are Infinity Kappas. And here's the crossover, it's inside the door. Yeah, there we go. There's the Infinity Kappas, the six and a half. So I'm gonna have two right there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna fuck with the console. I still ain't got the stereo, and before I put all this stuff back together, I gotta test all the speakers. Um, I think that's about it, boys and girls. See, here's my little tweeter deals, little Sony's, and where's the other ones? Um, these are Affinity Kappas, and you're probably bored now, so I'll move on. I had to go to the junkyard today. Nah, fuck, I'm not even gonna go there. It's fucking snowing. Anyway, um, just trying to give you an update. Um, yeah, peace.